As the Conservative Party continues to self-destruct in the most shameful manner, with Home Secretary Suella Bravman ruthlessly abandoning the sinking ship just yesterday and an array of backbench MPs having public meltdowns with the dawning realisation that most of them are going to lose their seat at the next election. Keir Starmer continues to lurk under his desk playing the waiting game as he has done for almost three years now. His strategy of doing and saying as little as possible and simply waiting for the Tories to eat each other alive is paying off handsomely, with every Conservative minister now occupied by thoughts of self-preservation and entirely neglecting their jobs as the country plunges further into poverty and crisis. Starmer and the Labour Party can't wait for the next general election, although they're unlikely to get one any time soon. The Conservatives still have two years before they're obliged to contest a general election, but that's not going to be enough to turn things around, is it? The Conservative Party's record in government since 2019 has been unremittingly horrendous. The dishonesty, arrogance and rule-flouting nature of the Tories under Boris Johnson, combined with the deeply authoritarian response to the Covid pandemic and the ensuing economic carnage, was unforgivable on its own. The public were prepared to give the Conservatives a fresh start under truss, but the disgraceful treachery of her MPs, as well as her total lack of courage in her convictions and dismal readiness to make humiliating U-turns, means there's no way back for the Tories. They've already lost the next election, whether it be in six months or two years, which means terrifyingly we're all going to have to get used to the idea of the likes of Angela Rayner and David Lammy making decisions that affect all of our lives. Histrionic grifters duplicitously wielding identity politics as a weapon for trampling their opponents and furthering their own position and influence. Get ready for high taxes, high public spending and the jackboot of woke autocracy dictating what you are and aren't allowed to say and think. Oh, but hang on, that's what we've already got. That's what we've had under the Conservatives and it's what we'll get under Labour because democracy in this country is an illusion and we are, of course, just a vassal state controlled by creepy corporate globalists. Now all that's left for you to do is get ready for your digital ID chip implant, eat your bugs like a good little prole, keep your mouth shut, embrace the misery and wait for death.